Hey everybody, I'm Kyle the Voron Modder and we are looking at my Voron 2.4 300mm kit. Uh, it is an LDO kit and I got it from Matter Hackers. Ironically, I'm also using Matter Hackers build series ABS. I'm using the black right now and the other components are made from the lime green. Now, the purpose of this video is to be more hands-on approach where you're gonna be stuck looking at my ugly face and my tattoos that on the arm that you can't see. Uh, working on this guy. I'm really excited about it. I think this is gonna be a really in-depth and comprehensive deep dive into these things, the Core XY system, and how to get more uh, efficiency out of it. So one of the things I had thought about was um, getting the CNC parts kit from like Funser, right, on AliExpress. But I thought that I would want to keep the spirit of the Voron itself alive in this project, in this series. And what I mean by that is I want to use printed parts to make this thing better. And one of the ways we're doing that is increasing strength and rigidity by changing the infill on the PIF program or print, uh, print it forward standards from 40% infill to 80% infill for this build. And I'm really excited to go through this. I got belts showing up tomorrow thanks to Dan and his team at West 3D. So if you guys are in the United States or even overseas, uh, West 3D pretty much has anything you can think of. And if they don't have it and you want it, they will source it for you, uh, make it available. Uh, very great company to work with. I uh, had a great time communicating with them and a little bit about this project and what we're doing. And I'm really excited for this. So without further ado, let's dive into some of the reasons behind the change and this video series, uh, which is gonna be called From the Toolbox, literally because we are at my toolbox where the Voron lives. Uh, it's a very heavy toolbox and it takes the vibrations from this machine like no other. So I've been able to push this because of that. You'll also notice I have this nifty little scratch in the panel, um, thanks to shipping or whatever. Not happy about it, but I'm not wasting money on any panel. It's all good, it still works. Um, back to the topic at hand with this video series on this. We're gonna go through changing the belts, um, but before we do that, we need to back up a little bit. We need to replace all the gantry parts, except for the Ram Lamas. The Ram Lama front tensioners, which is what these are, um, have a little slight issue uh, if I get the camera angle right here. The Z belt is actually, um, pushing this way, it's actually touching the Ramalama. It's not supposed to do that. I never had a problem with that with the stock, the stalkers, you know, the stock Voron parts, never had an issue there. So I'm a little concerned that that's happening. So if I can't square up this gantry with the Ramalamas, then we're gonna ditch those and go back to the stalkers and, and go from there uh, with this. Uh, but the reason we're doing 80% infill is to make the parts more rigid, less flexible. So that way they, when we start really increasing speeds and acceleration that we don't have a big issue with things binding or getting caught. Uh, we're also gonna go through belt tension, um, squaring the gantry, just to say that again. Belt tension using belt frequency. Uh, on a Voron Discord user, Frix X has a phenomenal setup. I will warn you that you don't need everything if you're already set up. If you're doing a fresh build, I would start with his because it overwrites all your stuff. It does save your original config files, but if you have a lot of work in your, uh, you like to customize things like I do, I would just stick with what you have. I will make sure to include the files that Old Guy Multi Plastics uh, graciously gave to me to use um, to get the belt frequency tuning correct. I'll make sure it's in the description on that video and walk you through how to do that. So we're gonna be going through hands-on mechanical things. We're gonna go through resonance testing and what we had to do to adjust that and get the belts equal. Uh, we're gonna go through um, how to do it by ear. I can't do the apps, I don't like the apps. I, I think they're a great idea in theory, but um, with all the other sounds that your machine makes, like fans and whatnot, it's just not practical. It doesn't make sense to do that. So we'll take a different approach to that and you guys can tell me what you think and what your results are at the end of this process. Uh, and the last thing, of course, is cleaning everything up. I got a lot of filament kind of laying all over the bed and stuff and I want to clean that stuff up and uh, really dive into these resonance calculations. So once these parts are done printing, I'm gonna let them cool for a couple hours until the bed is at least 50 degrees and the ABS has separated from the build plate, just to give it every chance to be perfectly flat as possible. Now, something interesting I do, I do wanna show you in closing is the bridging on this part. Um, this is a heart 
the heart K part and I just modified it a little bit to be able to add my PG7 connector. And uh, you know, I don't know why I did this. Something was wrong with it. But if you look, look at that bridging. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic bridging. I, I've never seen bridging that good and I'm, I'm just, I'm tickled pink. I think this is gonna be the, uh, the best parts I've ever actually printed. So um, seriously, I feel like my slicer is really dialed in. Um, if you guys would like a copy of my Super Slicer profile, I'd be more than willing to donate to you guys. I know old guy Melt Plastics has um, used my profiles in the past in a couple of his videos and then modify them for his needs as far as accelerations and whatnot. But I really want to dive into this and really show the, the viewers how to do these things. Um, it shouldn't take you forever. And it took me a long time to source all the information and collect all the data and look at all the different various videos with hours of, of talking in the Discord to finally get to where I am today. And I want to pass that knowledge and information to you guys. So without further ado, let's get started on this. And again, this is from the Toolbox.